an entire wall of metal gets magnetized, and ooh, there's a carbon dioxide tank on the side which gets pulled to it and it explodes on it. Oh, yeah, 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 you're carbon right. Carbon yeah. dioxide. <laughs> oh, hey. Hey. Oh, hey, Kyle. What are you guys talking about? Well, you know, we're just talking about movie mistakes. Uh, Trent here is a film critic. Oh, film critic. <laughs> really? Oh, do you know what I hate most? Sound in space. <laughs> Sound in space. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. God. Hate that. What's wrong with sound in space? You know there's no air in space, right? Uh, yeah, that's why people explode if they leave a spaceship, right? Yeah. That's another myth. <clears throat> you don't explode. You just, like, kind of lightly boil. You can survive for over 30 seconds, I think. Really? All those films, all so wrong. <laughs> huh. Ooh, I've got one for you. Asteroid belts. Uh, a- a- asteroid belts? Asteroid belts. A- asteroid belts. Oh, oh, asteroid belts. They're nowhere near that dense. Yeah, because yeah. in reality, the distance between asteroids and an asteroid belt is like hundreds of thousands of miles. You could fly straight through and never see a single one. Asteroid belts aren't dense. Oh. Uh, okay. Yeah, exa- exactly, yeah. Instant communications. Like, what about the speed of light? <laughs> Heard of it? <laughs> Falling out of orbits just because the engines stopped working? Slowing to a halt in space just because the engines stopped working. <laughs> <laughs> You've just got to wonder how all these filmmakers get all this stuff so wrong. Like, all the time. Yeah, you'd think they'd do at least a little bit of research into the area they're making a movie about. <laughs> They should hire uh, consultants or something. Oh, they do. What was that? They 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 do hire consultants uh, when they're making films. You know what? It's getting late, isn't it? Jeez, I think I'm gonna head out. Hey, Kyle, it's nine p.m. You literally just arrived. Yeah, pretty late. I, you know, I got so much. I got work to do. Uh, phone calls to make. What work do you do? Dogs. Dogs. Hot. Hot, hot, hot dogs. Hot, hot, hot dog man. Hot, that's, that's me. That's, that's, I'm the guy, you know, on this, all beef. All beef. That's, it's just how I roll. Oh yeah, you're a consultant, aren't you, Kyle? Um, no. No, actually. Uh, I mean, I, I used to. Yeah, I was once, but not after oh, today, yeah. probably. What type of consultant were you? You know, I used to be a medical device consultant, yeah. I'd go into companies and I'd help them set up their QMS system in order to comply with the latest standards. <laughs> and, uh, it was pretty interesting, actually, but blah, 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 I consult on films. Films? <laughs> oh, God. I hope you didn't consult on the Cloverfield Paradox. That was such a... Actually, an... I did consult on the Cloverfield Paradox, and that film was great. <laughs> really? Kyle, I mean, come on. <laughs> it, it might have been fun to watch, but the physics... But fuck your physics. It's people like you who are always spoiling films for everybody. Seated in the back row, snickering about the lack of character arcs or how humans don't only use 10% of their brains. It takes one seriously stuck-up prick to believe that conforming to reality is more important than creating emotion or a a compelling visual shot. Can you imagine how fucking boring Star Wars would have been if none of the lasers made any noise or the Death Star didn't have an explosion because there's no oxygen in space to fuel the fire? I'm sorry, man. I... I know it's really easy to criticize something from the outside without actually having that inside view. I, I didn't mean to upset you, and I mean I I enjoyed the Cloverfield paradox, right, Trent? Oh, oh, sure, yeah, uh, definitely a, a, a movie. Yep, definitely a movie. Had a had acting and everything in it. Okay, okay, it's just it's 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 a hard job, and I'm sorry I, I didn't mean to burst out like that. It's just. I mean, it's just so difficult to get this stuff right. I, I, I mean, there, there's just, it is fundamentally impossible to make a good film and have realistic physics. You know? 
you know? 2001 A Space Odyssey. The Expanse. Contact. Apollo 13. Hell, even Battlestar Galactica gets its thrusters right. And, well, you know the Cloverfield Paradox? The artificial gravity spinning rings, yeah? They were pulling them the wrong damn way. The rotation, Kyle, should pull them out. Come here, you no. little piece of shit! No, Kyle, come on, man. Do man. Oh my god! <laughs> Kyle! People like you are why we have mini chlorine! Kyle! <laughs> Somebody help! What are you all standing there gormously for? Hey! Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this segment from the Harvin Pawn Show, which you can catch on twitch.tv slash harvinpawn every Wednesday at 4 p.m. That's right, and you can help support the ongoing war efforts by pledging to our Patreon at patreon.com slash harvinpawn, or by shooting us a one-off tip at paypal.me slash harvinpawn. War effort? Right. It's not a war effort. Oh, my this isn't, this, this is, is supposed to be just show, the end of the Howard. show. God damn it. We've got to stop running, people. Let's be a bit more professional. <laughs>